Gingival bleeding. What are the causes? Bleeding from gingival circles can be the earliest sign of gingival inflammation and it can be easily detected clinically. Bleeding on probing can be a valuable tool in early diagnosis of gingivitis and prevention of advanced gingivitis. The advantage of POP is that it is a more objective sign for identifying presence of gingival inflammation. Indications of gingival bleeding on probing. It is used to measure disease prevalence and progression. It helps to measure the outcomes of treatment and it also helps to motivate patients to perform necessary home care. The absence of gingival bleeding on probing is a desirable outcome and the low risk of future attachment loss can be predicted. So there are local and systemic factors associated with gingival bleeding. Local factors are responsible for plaque retention and can lead to gingivitis where bleeding or probing is a classical sign. These local factors could be anatomical and developmental tooth variations, caries, frenal pull, iatrogenic factors, malposition teeth, mouth breathing, overhangs, partial dentures, lack of attached gingiva, recession and orthodontic treatment. Bleeding due to local factors is generally chronic and recurrent. Common cause of abnormal gingival bleeding on probing is chronic inflammation. It can be provoked by mechanical trauma like toothbrushing, toothpick and food impaction or by biting on solid foods like apples. Histopathologically, there is dilation and engorgement of capillaries and thinning or ulceration of the circular epithelium. So the capillaries become enlarged in size which are closer to the surface. There is thinning and degeneration of the epithelium which makes it less protective and presence of any stimuli can rupture these capillaries resulting in gingival inflammation and bleeding. The severity of bleeding is directly associated with intensity of inflammation. More the inflammation, more will be the severity of bleeding. So what occurs after gingival bleeding? The vessels try to contract, the blood flow diminishes, the blood platelets adhere to the edges of the tissue, fibrous clot is formed and contraction and approximation of the edges of the injured area occurs. This results in control of gingival bleeding. Other local causes of gingival bleeding are moderate or advanced periodontitis, injury to the gingiva in the form of laceration by sharp objects or toothbrush, gingival burns due to hot foods or chemicals and spontaneous bleeding in conditions like acute necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis. Systemic factors associated with gingival bleeding could be due to systemic disorders. In this, gingival hemorrhage occurs spontaneously or occurs due to any kind of irritation. The bleeding in such cases is excessive and could be difficult to control. These systemic disorders can be hemorrhaging disorders. These disorders are characterized by failure of the hemostatic mechanism that leads to abnormal bleeding of the oral tissues. These are vascular abnormalities like vitamin C deficiency, hypoprothrombinemia like vitamin K deficiency, platelet disorders like thrombocytopenic purpura, coagulation disorders like hemophilia and multiple myeloma. Other systemic reasons could be long term depression related stress exposure this leads to increased concentration of interleukin-6 and increased inflammation and gingival bleeding. Diabetes is associated with marked inflammation that affects both epithelial and connective tissue cells that results in gingival bleeding. Medications like anticonvulsants, antihypertensive drugs, calcium channel blockers and immunosuppressive drugs are associated with increased inflammation and gingival bleeding. Other causes could be changes in the sex hormones. These can occur during puberty. There is fluctuation of estrogen and progesterone levels. These are associated with exaggerated gingival inflammation resulting in gingival bleeding. Hormonal replacement therapy, pregnancy, oral contraceptives and menstrual cycle are all associated with increased gingival bleeding. So clinical correlation of gingival bleeding can be due to medications, antiplatelet medications like aspirin or anticoagulants like warfarin, Increase the bleeding tendency of gingival tissues. 
women taking oral contraceptives are significantly more prone to gingivitis and therefore gingival bleeding. Pregnancy associated gingivitis. This affects mainly the pregnant women and it is caused by hormonal imbalances associated with the pregnancy condition. There could be mild to severe gingival inflammation, pain, and significant hyperplasia and gingival bleeding. The condition normally resolves by itself after delivery. So, to summarize, gingival bleeding is the earliest sign of gingival inflammation and helps in early diagnosis of gingivitis. Local factors and systemic factors contribute to the development of gingival bleeding. You can find the link to MCQs for this topic in the description of the video. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for update on new videos.